Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now today we are going to take a look at the MSI GS70 Stealth Pro right over here and as a spoiler alert for this particular video what I can say is that this is a powerful gaming laptop totally capable of video editing and motion graphics design and capable of driving my triple display setup right over here with no issues at all. Also something interesting is that this gaming laptop uh, doesn't fit exactly on that typical gaming laptop uh, design special because it is a slick and interesting uh, laptop but that being said guys let's go straight for the video hope that you enjoy it and as always i'll see you in a few seconds And here we are with the MSI GS70 Stealth Pro, a gaming laptop that features the Intel i7 quad-core 6700HQ at 2.6GHz, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, a 256GB M.2 SSD and a 1TB hard drive with a 7.3-inch TN panel at 1080 resolution. Now this is a gaming laptop but when we look at it it has a nice looking slim design on the right hand side it has one event for the right fan a kessington lock power input jack sd card slot and two usb 3.0 ports on the left hand side the vent for the left fan a gigabit ethernet port hdmi 1.4 two mini display ports 1.2 and two usb 3.1 ports and three sound card ports as well now on the back just the inch for the display at the front left the indication leds at the back of the display that msi gaming series logo that lights up at the bottom the air vents along with nine rubber feet and the leather cover that will help us to give uh, more grip while we're transporting it and on the top of the display a 1080 webcam and below the dean audio speakers and in terms of build quality, it's a solid machine as you can imagine and not so heavy for a gaming machine with only 2.6 kilograms. And at first it seemed like a brushed high quality plastic enclosure, uh, but it turns out that it's a very thin layer of brushed aluminium. I really like the overall design of this laptop and the only thing that I'm personally not a fan are the display bezels that I would have loved to see uh, with the same material of the chassis. And while we are talking about things that I did didn't like so much the power input jack uh, it's another one that to me doesn't make too much sense in the middle we can't use it coming from the front or it will block uh, at least the SD card slots and while it will not block the air vent on the right fan I didn't like to see it there I would uh, uh, honestly prefer to see it more at the back and the uh, air vents a bit more towards the front but of course guys this is only my personal opinion and the display, it's a 17.3 inch TN panel with 1080 resolution. And in terms of viewing angles, although it's a TN panel, uh, the horizontal angles are quite good. And the vertical angles, we can see some color shifting a bit quicker, but I don't see us honestly having any issues of viewing angles with the laptop. Now the trackpad, it's large, nice to the touch and responsive. And honestly, there's not much more that I can say about it. Now the keyboard, it's a full still series keyboard that it's very comfortable uh, either for gaming or even if we spend a lot of time typing which is something that I do. It has a chiclet key design with a really nice key travel and being a gaming laptop it has a lot of options in terms of light combinations. Uh, it comes with the still series software that allow us to create four different color profiles that we can then change with a key shortcuts so in terms of color options there are endless possibilities and in in terms of software it also comes with the MSI Dragon Gaming Center uh, that will give us some monitoring tools along with some performance profile presets. So you guys have seen the specs of this laptop and so you can imagine more or less of course uh, the performance that it delivers which we will take a better look in just a few seconds but with high performance there's uh, the temperature concerns and on my tests stressing the laptop uh, the only parts where it's not comfortable to put our hands are on the top of both fans that did reach roughly 49 degrees celsius but honestly this is an area that i don't see myself uh, putting my hands on a 
laptop uh, on the keyboard trackpads and surrounding areas even with the laptop at high temperatures uh, it was very comfortable to use and in terms of noise levels while doing uh, non-demanding tasks the computer is quite silent and we barely can hear any fans but as expected when we stress the system uh, the fans wrap up to high rpm and they get quite loud so either bump up that volume of the speakers or just use a set of headphones and although this is a laptop, we can take advantage of the display output to connect up to three external displays. And to test it out, I used one HDMI and two mini display ports to HDMI adapters and successfully connected to my triple display setup. Uh, now the limits are three displays, so we will use the laptop display plus two external displays or three external displays. And on my opinion, of course, a triple display setup can be very useful, not only for gaming, but mainly to have more screen real estate and especially if we want to use it for multitasking like I do with any of my machines. And now guys I'm going to leave you with some results in terms of performance and I will be right back. <laughs> And before we move on to the conclusion, as you guys could see, this is a powerful laptop capable of playing high demanding games and also with some really impressive results in terms of video editing and motion graphics design. So for those that are on the market for a powerful and mobile machine, then the MSI GS70 is definitely a laptop to put on our list. So in conclusion guys, things that I did like the most were the slick design for a gaming laptop, a great overall performance, capable of a triple display setup, the dual hard drive configuration and finally a comfortable keyboard with a lot of color options. On the other hand, things that I did like the least were only two and are the matte plastic on the bezels of the display and the power input jack not on the best position on my opinion. And that is it, we have reached the end of another review, this time the MSI Laptop GS70. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video in the video, so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.